Hey guys, happy fantabulous Wednesday. It's 12.49 in the afternoon and I am here editing. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I'm editing. I'm actually editing, um, hold on, I think the lens is a little dirty. So I'm actually here editing um, how to paint a striped wall. I did a striped wall for Michaela's bedroom because um, she doesn't have a headboard so I wanted to give her like a headboard and sort of make it like a height you know in tall headboard looking thing and so she chose the colors that she wanted and I painted it while she was in school yesterday and it turned out oh my gosh it turned out so amazing and you'll see the video I'm not gonna give it away but it's a very cute video it turned out awesome and um, hopefully you guys can you know will watch it and and if you don't know how to do it then it'll help you and if you do know how to do it then you know it'll just be something that you watch <laughs> <laughs> but it was a great video and I had fun doing it um, I love doing DIYs you guys as you know I absolutely enjoy doing DIYs I have so much more like tons of DIY projects that are coming up and thank you guys so much for the new subscribers and also thank you for all of your beautiful comments um, and support to the channel and you guys have definitely made it known that you like my DIY videos and so I'm going to be giving you guys what you want and put more DIY so I have tons of DIY videos I have a fall slash Thanksgiving tablescape that's coming up in the next few weeks um, that's probably coming up in the next two weeks and also I still wanted to make the storage boxes for you guys and um, I have some tours that are coming up. I have a kitchen tour that's coming up. I have room tours that's coming up. I have a fall Thanksgiving house tour that's coming up. I don't know if I've ever given you guys like a complete house tour. I think you've seen bits and pieces of my house, but I don't think I've actually given you guys like an entire house tour. So um, I'm going to be doing that, giving you guys like a fall Thanksgiving house tour as well. And um, yeah, it's tons of stuff that I have I, I have um, coming up. So look out for those. But in the meantime, between time, how are you guys doing? Um, leave me comments. I want to know how you guys are doing. I want to know how your family is doing. I, you know, I, I, I want to know about you guys. We absolutely love you guys. And you are the our extension of our family. And we appreciate you guys so much. So leave comments below and let us know how your family is doing, how your life is going, you know, what type of changes you guys are experiencing and let me know. Um, and yeah, I'll, I'll read it and I'll comment on it and, you know, we'll go back and forth and just have feedback. So I am getting ready to edit this video and upload it so that you guys can have it to see today. And yeah, I think that's it for now. So, see you guys in a little while. I mean, now that we're here in the hospital, I'm not really sure what's going on with her, but um, she seems to be in a lot of pain. So, she came away from school today and she was just like screaming hysterically. And see that, like grabbing for her neck. So I'm wondering if she has like a crooked neck or something, but I don't know. I'm tired. I don't know what time it is. It's 7 o'clock on a Wednesday. Right now, you busy? You okay? Hmm? You okay? Yeah. Where are you hurting? Can you tell the fans where you're hurting? She looks so tired, you guys. I'm so tired. Hmm? You guys, look at my baby. <sighs> She's knocked out.
I'm so tired, you guys. Oh my gosh, it's 8.25. Why do these people take so long to just check her out? We're not sure. Well, I'm not sure what's going on with her. She keeps holding on to her neck. So I'm thinking maybe she has like a crook in her neck. So, I don't know. We'll see. I brought my jacket. Good thing I brought my jacket because it's freezing in here. I just got them to bring her a blanket. She's sleeping right now. Oh, my baby girl. It's hard with Nyla because when she's sick, which is very rare, but when she's sick, you kind of have to play process of elimination because she's nonverbal, so she can't tell you, like, this hurts, that hurts, you know, so you kind of have to just process of elimination, see what's really, what's really happening, so, yeah, but we're just here waiting for the doctor to come in, and... Hopefully they tell us something that we can diagnose and we can take care of so my baby girl won't be in any more pain. So, Daddy Beezy's at home with the other two kiddos and they're in bed right now. And I'm hoping that I can get him before he has to go to work. He called, but no one's calling him back yet. So, I guess we'll see what happens. So, anyway. I'll keep you guys posted. <laughs> okay guys, so the doctor just came in and they said that she has like a muscle spasm in her neck. Um, and it'll take about a couple of days for it to go away. So we have to keep her home for tomorrow from school. Um, could be the way she slept or whatever. It's called cortico or something like that. So at least we know what, what it is and now we can help her better, you know, to cope and try to help her ease the pain a bit. So we're getting ready to go home and it's good timing. So she can get home and I'll give her a bath, keep it warm. They said to keep it warm. So I'm gonna probably pick up a, um, one of those warm packs, what do you call it, heat pads pick one up for her tomorrow and see how she does so headed home